Okay. So, what shall algorithm to find the transitive closure? Okay. Now, what is a transitive closure? Uh, see this uh, transitive closure uh, closer is also called as uh, hmm. path matrix means path matrix okay, okay. so uh, yeah. for any graph okay, for any hmm. graph there will be a as adjacence matrix you know that there will be an adjacency matrix, right? You know how to construct an adjacency matrix. You know how to construct an adjacency matrix. Yes, sir. Two, two, two by if two into two matrices there, that adjacent uh, row and column we will multiply and we will construct one more. Mm -hmm. Suppose we can take an example of a graph. If since the it also do not contain any graph here. Why they are not giving graph? See here, this is the algorithm they provided Warshall's algorithm. Pseudocode for Warshall algorithm, right? Mm. And this is the formula for Warshall algorithm. And there is a mistake. Warshall algorithm. Oh. There is a mistake. See here. And uh, this is the formula. Look at this. This one. Look at this. Rij k minus 1 or concentrate on this or and concentrate mm. on this and. Okay. And. Right. Uh. But what they are writing here, and this is same. This is this is the line where it need to be applied. This is uh -huh. this need to be applied here. But they are writing something else. Okay, which is the formula for Floyd Warshall's algorithm? Floyd uh -huh. Warshall's algorithm. Now see here, what is this? mean of c k minus 1 i j k and c k minus 1 i k something like that okay now this is uh. floyd algorithm this is uh. called they are calling it as floyd's algorithm basically it is floyd Warshall's algorithm and uh. see here the floyd algorithm <coughs> oh reverse they have given the same thing this distance plus distance plus they are using distance plus so you do not have to plus here you have to write this one so if they give you to write versus algorithm you write everything is okay here okay mm. but you have to write thing. you do not have to write this one you have to write this one here okay mm. this one this will be your you have to write it like that do not write mean hmm. you write c k i j equal to c k minus 1 i j or like this or mm -hmm. this and this okay you have to write like mm -hmm. that you have to write like that so replace this plus by and and replace, and this replace comma the comma with R. With R. And mean should be removed. Mean should be removed. It's not about minimum. So this is your Warshall's algorithm. Now Warshall algorithm, what Warshall algorithm actually do? Warshall algorithm actually do one thing. It will take input adjacency matrix. Adjacency matrix. Warshall mm. algorithm. And it will convert that adjacency matrix to path matrix okay now what is path matrix to explain that i am taking example of this tiny graph okay i am taking this example from um, internet google 
okay. so that I can quickly make you understand without any complication. So two, and this is your three. So this is a tiny graph. Okay. We are going to apply the Wurzel's algorithm on this graph. You understand this graph? There is a yes. there is a age from one to three. There is no age from three to one hmm. since it is a directed graph, right? Directed graph. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, first we construct. I will describe what is path matrix, what is transitive closure. Transitive closure and path matrix are same. Okay. Now first hmm. construct the adjacency matrix for this graph. So what will be the adjacency matrix? Adjacency matrix will be vertex by vertex, na? Mm. What? So Two, how many vertices are there? How many vertices are there? Three vertices. So it will be a three by three matrix. Three right. into three matrix. Three by three matrix. So this is a three by three matrix, right? Now we have to. Mm. I'm just copy this structure. Keep it there. So this is your one first vertex, mm -hmm. second vertex, third vertex, first vertex, second vertex, and third vertex. So is there any age from one to one? One to one, no, it is not there. Zero. There is no self loop. It, is there any age from one to two? No. There is no age from one to two. So it will be zero. One, two, three, is there one. any age from one to three? Yes. One. So there will be one. Two to one. Yes. yes one. Two to two. No. no two to three. No. Three to one. No. Three to two. Yes. yes. Three to three. No. So this is the adjacency no. matrix. Okay. Mm. So this adjacency matrix need to be converted to your path matrix or transitive okay. closure. Now, what is a path matrix? Path matrix will represent, will show you, is there any alternative path <coughs> for each vertex? Means, suppose C1, okay. Mm. How to reach mm. one? You can reach one from two, okay, mm. directly. Can you reach one from three? Yes, you can reach one from three via two. So there is an age three, two, one. Na? Are you getting mm. the thing? So adjacency matrix will show you the ages from one vertex to another. It is not showing is there any alternative path to read, reach to a particular node that will show by the um, path matrix. Okay. Path matrix. Now, how to okay. compute a path matrix? See here, suppose if you yeah. have you have a I vertex and you have a J vertex. Okay. Hmm. If you have a path directly from I to J, then obviously there is a path. Okay. Obviously, yeah. there is a path from I to J. Okay. Yes. You may have some alternative path. Think about some intermediate vertex, vertex K. So if you have a bar, if you have an edge from I to K and an edge from K to J, then you also have a path from I to J. So I to K and K to J. Okay. K to J. These all alternative paths will be represented in path matrix. Okay. This path matrix will contain every possible edges or every possible path from one vertex to another vertex okay now see here okay. one two two can you reach one two two so from adjacency matrix our answer will be no we cannot reach from one to two because this element is zero na? so we do not have any edge from one to two uh. but you see from one to two yes obviously there is a edge so from here one two three and from three to two, there is a age. Mm. So alternatively, we cannot reach directly from one to two. Okay, fine, no problem. There is no age directed. 
but we have alternative path 1 2 3 3 2 2 so that will be represented in path matrix okay so the significance of path matrix is to get you all the paths present in a particular graph and that is also called transitive closure okay transitive tab means a to b b to c means transitive relationship is something like that suppose a person no b and b person no c then you can say that a also no c okay can't you say that a knows b and b knows c that means that also mean that a knows c okay so this is called transitive relation and transitive path are shown in path matrix so how to compute path matrix from these adjacency matrix that is the aim of Warshall's algorithm <clears throat> so uh, the so the aim of this uh, virtual algorithm is to find the um, transitive closure means the path matrix okay so say i is a i is a node and j is another node okay there may be a path direct edge from i to j or there may be a path from i to k and k to j what is k k is any intermediate node between i to j okay so the formula used in this virtual algorithm will be like that see we can represent this matrix by r so what will be the value for r i j in k th matrix now what is k k is the intermediate edge intermediate vertex okay it will be r of i j from k minus 1 or it will be the result of r i k from k minus 1 k minus 1 means the previous matrix and r of k j from k minus 1 so this formula we are going to use to populate this r matrix okay now we have to construct this r matrix okay for how many nodes how many vertices are there there are three vertices so we have to construct three matrices from this this is adjacency matrix okay this is your adjacency matrix okay it only shows the direct edges from one vertex to another vertex now we have to construct the path matrix from this adjacency matrix okay by using this formula now how can we do that see <clears throat> first we have to write the adjacency matrix again okay let's take this adjacency matrix same same okay <clears throat> now see we have to find the path this you see consider this is the first one that means your k value is equal to 1 means you are considering this node you are considering this node okay now you want to find any path by considering this node as an intermediate node okay so you have to find the path by considering one as intermediate node now see here if you want to find a path from 1 to 1, 
see this one okay from so i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 we are now going to compute the value for this cell okay so here i is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 now what will be the value of k here since we are considering this matrix for 1 so k will be 1 so if you apply this formula for i j and k value so you will get what say r 1 1 from k minus 1 k minus 1 means value of k is 1 so 1 minus 1 means 0 now what is the 0 0 at matrix that is nothing but this one here k is equal to 0 that means you are not considering any intermediate vertex vertex so here k is this adjacency matrix will become 0th matrix or what r of 1 k value is 1 and and means this is logical and r of k value 1 j value 1 from 0 r 0 k minus 1 means 0 now see what is the value of r 1 1 from 0th matrix so r 1 1 is 0 this 0 okay or you have what is this r 1 1 from 0 r 1 1 from 0 means 0 and 0 so what will be the value here it will be 0 itself okay initially you just put the one values from adjacency matrix and remove all the zeros from there okay now you have to populate these cells so you are going to compute one one okay you are going to compute one one okay for this cell so what will be the value for this cell we get it from we have to calculate that from the previous matrix which is dynamic programming you have to calculate that from previous matrix from previous matrix we have to consider r11 and r11 previous matrix is k0 matrix so that's why this 0 is there this 0 is there okay so what is there in 1 1 cell that is 0 so 0 and 0 is 0 so it will be 0 okay it will be more clear for the next cell okay now consider this cell for this cell what is the value of i i is your 1 and what is the value of j j is your 1 uh, sorry j is your 2 because you are computing for 1 2 okay so j is your 2 now what will be the value of k k will be 1 because we are com our computation is for k is equal to 1 matrix okay so k is 1 so what are the path so k you have to consider k as the intermediate of i and j so what will be the path so the path will be i2 means 1 2 um, i2 k i2 k and k2 j k2 j so i2 k means 1 to 1 na? and k2 j means what 1 to 2 and these values you need to find from the 0th matrix so what is your 1 to 1 what is your 1 to 1 your 1 to 1 is 0 this is your 0 and what is your 1 to 2 1 to 2 is 1 to 2 is 0 so 0 and 0 becomes 0 0 and 0 becomes 0 so this value will again become 0 you do not have to compute this because this is already 1 now compute the value for this one so what will be the value of i here here i is your 2 because row is 2 and column is your 2 means j is your 2 what is the value of k k is your 1 
so what are the ages you need to consider i to k and k to j so what is i here 2 to 1 and from k to j 1 to 2 so i is your 2 and j is your 2 you have to consider 1 as the intermediate between these two so what will be the value what will be the age i to k and k to j so i to k is i is your 2 2 to 1 and 1 to 2 so you have to get these values from the previous matrix so what is your 2 to 1 2 to 1 is your 1 so write 1 here 1 to 2 is what 1 to 2 is 0 so 1 and 0 again it will be 0 again it will be 0 okay so the next one see here for this one for this one again i is your what i is your 2 j is your 3 okay now k is your 1 already so which ages you need to consider i to k and k to j i to k means 2 to 1 and 1 to j means your 3 1 to 3 okay so these values you need to get from the 0th matrix the previous one to 2 to 1 what 2 to 1 is 1 so write 1 and 1 to 3 is what 1 to 3 is your 1 so first time you have both the 1 and 1 and 1 see here these two need to be and together so one and one is one so you have to put it put one here see here okay so next consider this one so for this one what you have to do this is your three to one here this is your three to one right so three to one means i am not writing again in details so for three to 1 the ages you need to consider 3 to 1 and 1 to 1 which is equal to 3 to 1 means what see here 3 to 1 is 0 and 1 to 1 3 to 1 is 0 and 1 to 1 is 1 to 1 is 0 so 0 and 0 0 and 0 so it will be 0 so this part which one this one becomes 0 now this one this is your 3 2 3 so the next one is your 3 2 3 3 2 3 so to for 3 2 3 the ages will be 3 2 1 and 1 2 3 so what is the value of 3 to 1 in the previous matrix 3 to 1 is 0 and 1 to 3 is 1 to 3 is 1 so 0 and 1 0 and 1 this way it will be 0 so again you have to put this 0 so this is the matrix you have derived from 0th matrix so this matrix is derived from this matrix okay so here we consider one as the intermediate we have tried to consider one as the intermediate vertex for all other now we have to construct the other one in this way how many vertices how many matrices we have to construct we have to construct three matrices because we have three nodes <coughs> so <coughs> sorry from this <coughs> sorry from this we have to construct the matrix so copy that's it so this will be for k 
k is equal to now we consider k is equal to 2 k is equal to 2 so this will be your 1 2 3 1 2 3 now keep all the ones intact so this will be your 1 1 1 and 1 remaining we need to compute now okay now see here k is 2 you have to remember here k is 2 means 2 is going to be the intermediate node so for 2 first consider this one this is your 1 to 1 so 1 to 1 if you consider 2 as the intermediate vertex then we can write 1 2 2 and 2 2 1 so find the values of these 1 2 these edges from the matrix just before it okay means for we are now at k is equal to 2 so we have to consider k is equal to 1 matrix so in k equal to 1 matrix what is the value of 1 to 2 what is the value of 1 to 2 it is 0 so we write 0 what is the value of 2 to 1 2 to 1 it is 1 so 0 and 1 it will be 0 so it will be 0 for the next 1 to 2 1 to 2 so what are the edges 1 2 2 and 2 2 2 okay because 2 is the intermediate vertex so 1 to 2 and 2 to 2 this value you need to fetch from the previous matrix so 1 to 2 1 to 2 is 0 and 2 to 2 is again 0 so 0 and 0 it will be 0 okay in that way i am doing the next one so this one this is your 2 to 2 so what will be the value so 2 to 2 and again 2 to 2 so 2 to 2 is 0 and again 2 to 2 is 0 so 0 and 0 it will be again 0 for this this is your 3 to 1 so for 3 to 1 you need to consider 3 to 2 and 2 to 1 considering 2 as the intermediate vertex so 3 to 2 3 to 2 is what 3 to 2 is 1 and 1 to 2 is what 1 to 2 is 0 so 1 and 0 is 0 okay now consider 3 to 3 so 3 to 3 and consider 2 as the intermediate so 3 to 2 and 2 to 3 so get the value of 3 to 2 3 to 2 is 1 and 2 to 3 is 1 so 1 and 1 is 1 so you are getting 1 here okay so this ends the matrix for k is equal to 2 now you have to construct the last one for k is equal to 3 by considering third node as the intermediate vertex so k is equal to 3 so 1 2 3 this is 1 2 3 keep the 1 intact so this is 1 1 1 1 and 1 so now do the same process for this one you have to consider 3 as the intermediate vertex so 1 to 1 should be treated as 1 to 3 and 3 to 1 no? 1 to 1 you have to consider 3 as intermediate between these two if you consider these two are different vertices then 1 to 3 <coughs> and and 3 to 1 and you have to get these values from the previous matrix only that means k is equal to 2 so in k is equal to 2 1 to 3 is what 1 to 3 is 1 and 3 to 1 is 3 to 1 is also 1 so 1 and 1 it will be 1 okay now for this one this is your 1 to 2 so 1 to 3 and 3 to 2 so 1 to 3 is 1 and 3 to 2 is also 1 so 1 and 1 it will be 1 
nothing about this one this is 2 to 2 so if 3 is your intermediate then 2 to 3 and 3 to 2 so 2 to 3 is 1 and 3 to 2 is also 1 so 1 and 1 is 1 okay now last 3 to 1 3 to 1 means 3 to 3 and 3 to 1 so 3 to 3 is 1 okay 3 to 3 is 1 and 3 to 1 is 3 uh, sorry for this one 3 to 1 3 to 1 we need to consider 3 to 3 and 3 to 1 so 3 to 3 is 1 and 3 to 1 3 to 1 is 0 so it is 0 no it will not be 0 we made some mistake over here just a minute here 3 to 1 yeah 3 to 1 is 3 to 1 1 to 1 3 to 1 1 0 okay no problem here it will be 3 to 1 so 3 to 2 3 to 2 and 2 to 1 2 to 1 sorry it will be 1 it will be 1 because the it is k is equal to 2 matrix so in k is equal to 2 matrix for this cell that is 3 to 1 we need to compute 3 to 2 2 to 1 so 3 to 2 is 1 and 2 to 1 is 1 so 1 and 1 it will be 1 okay so there was a mistake here anyway here it is 3 to 1 so 3 for 3 to 1 it will be 3 to 3 and 3 to 1 so what is 3 to 3 3 to 3 is 1 and 3 to 1 is 1 1 and 1 it is 1 okay so all the matrices for all the vertices for this graph has been constructed and this is your path matrix path matrix or you can say it is a transitive closure what is the purpose of finding transitive closure to find every possible path between the among the vertices okay so virtual algorithm is giving you that path matrix okay for a particular graph okay all you need to do you after understanding you just quickly practice it okay 